Hi guys, Franks here, back with another video. Um, this video is uh, is quite different from the previous one. Uh, it's a completely different different EDC, and uh, I bought it uh, for actually just for work. Um, it's from DPX uh, DPX Gear, uh, a US based company. Um, they have a lineup of knives uh, fully made in USA, and they also have. Uh, knives that are made by Lion Steel. This one is made by Lion Steel, and I got it off uh, a Canadian fa Facebook group. Um, it's uh, uh, it, it was a good deal, honestly. Uh, this was uh, 175 Canadian, so a very very nice price for honestly this. Like I, I really 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 don't know what what is all the the the. Um, the 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 sorry the um, uh, the controversy my god the controversy with uh, DPX and the or owner or I like 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 I know uh, Strider had some uh, controversy Medford whatever uh, I'll re I'll review just the knife okay so this is G10 titanium they have a locking mechanism which is really nice um it 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 has like check this beautiful polished stone wash finish uh when i got it the uh um, the lock bar it, it's like it has like two two step like it has lost some tension for some reason i really don't know um, so I all I did is uh, I und un uh, disassemble it and I put back some tension towards uh, the scale uh, just to because titanium has a, a great m memory um, like a steel memory so it, it kind of went back where it was but it developed some lock stick a little bit and it, it will wear off kind of like what I did with my Strider SNG uh, that after like a week or two it was perfect but honestly this guy uh, this knife 175 Canadian uh, pre very good condition this is a, a, a steel that I didn't know um, it's uh, let me show you from this side it's Slepner steel and I read a little bit about it it's kind of like D2 but with a better uh, I think edge retention so I, I don't really know much about this steel, but uh, so far it's super sharp. Uh, it, it, it did, uh, I, I've carried it for a week at my job and it, it did uh, held the hedge uh, pretty well. I put a new hedge on it uh, uh, after that week. Uh, nothing, nothing too fancy, just, just to, uh, to have it sh uh, sh very sharp. So there is a bottle opener there, obviously, a wire stripper that I will probably never, never use it, but it's there. Uh, I think this is a hex, uh, yeah, this is a hex, uh, one, one quarter a bit uh, holder. That is kind of useful, I think. Uh, I will probably never use it, but it's it's there if I'm if I need it. And this is a glass breaker that is definitely uh, useful. Uh, carrying this in a car, you just slam the your window and uh, you go out if something bad happens. So it's nice to see that in a knife like uh, my Medford has. Um, it's funny because. <laughs> It's not a really, really expensive knife, but you have a, a, a great packaging, a great box and everything. And it just made me think that this this has a lot of feel like um, a Strider knife, okay? Although it runs on, um, it's not on bearings, not on Tef uh, phosphor bronze washer. It's actually on Teflon washer and it's buttery smooth, like really, really smooth. And uh, right now it's, no blade play with the the lock disengage uh maybe a tiny uh, no no blade play no blade play either way super super smooth action it's 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 not drop shot but it's like fall shot very very nice you can finger flick it you can lock the 
the lock bar here. That's weird. That that's what I was explaining at the beginning. What 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 it was doing? It's like if there was a, a still a little uh, a loose. Uh, but I, I I might I might be put it more uh, attention. I didn't want to overdo it uh, to uh, because you always start a little bit and then go further. But I was happy with with the action without locking the knife. But yeah, so uh, titanium, a nice deep carry clip, very nice EDC, a great size to me. The Ergos is amazing. Like, for real, they, uh, I, I don't understand why there, why there is no, not, not more like, it, it's not more popular. There is brand like that that are not like super popular, like the competition. But I think it's an awesome EDC and a... Uh, if you if you can buy them at a great price or even at full price especially for the US made one uh, I'd go for it but the US made one are like in the price of a Chris Reef and other iron knives so it, that's when it's it's kind of hard like uh, it's, I don't know sometimes but but let's let's show you like the size comparison Mm, yeah, I'll put this one here, this one here, and the big boy, the Zan. So as you can see, it really not, uh, it, it really is not a big knife, but for me, for me, these three knives are perfect size for me. Uh, this is, I think this is a little bit slimmer, uh, uh, less uh, less long uh, than a, like maybe a Shiro F95, or maybe it's the same thing, but it doesn't feel as big as a Shiro F95, and that really is why I really like this knife. Um, this is one of my gem too. I really like this knife, like you, you, you saw in, in previous videos, but yeah. Uh, I'll I'll put these away. But yeah, I'm really really uh, impressed by the DPX. Uh, th there is something that I hate, and I saw this on another DPX uh, knife review. They put like uh, not not on mine, but they put like put like the uh, the uh, e uh, the website. They put the freaking website on the handle right there uh, on mine. They put the US patent number. I don't know if I can show you. Mm. Oh, maybe I can show you by zooming. Sorry, it will shake. US pat number. Pat, uh, probably patent. Like, why you put this there? And, and this DPX logo, like. I really love when a company stay to the minimum on the blade. Like, uh, for example, uh, uh, like this. This is perfect. This is just enough. The steel. That's it. No need for extra like useless thing. Like I really don't understand why they do that. And it made made me think like a uh, giant mouse that just have their Ace logo on it. That's it. Nothing more. And the steel. So yeah. But other than that, it's an awesome EDC. It's like, it's a tank. It's like a mini, like, it, what's funny, you know, uh, people always say like Medford knives are, uh, are too big, too wide, too thick. This is actually thicker than my micro Praetorian. I should have brought, brought, brought it with me uh, for this video, but like, it's actually thicker. And I think it's even thicker than the Mm. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny. Uh, it's like maybe th thicker of three thirty-two inches. Maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit even more. So it it, 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 but but like honestly, in in pocket, it's it's super great and uh, yeah. So uh, 
If you have any question about this knife or uh, any other knife that I have or had, uh, like I say in my previous video, like just ask your question. I'll try to uh, to answer it. And uh, of course, there is many other uh, YouTube video about that. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to to t tell you. I tried to find this information forever on internet and on YouTube, but this is uh, this is T6. This is a 762X X wrench. It's not like Torx or anything like that. Don't do this. You will strip the knife. Uh, the new one, uh, they have Torx and uh, the US made one. I think they have Torx too, but this one, this particular one, it's 762X uh, wrench. So uh, there you have it. So uh, yeah, guys, really hope you liked the video. If you liked it, uh, subscribe. To see my content, uh, I'm not. I'm not really like. I, I don't really like post every like week, or I, I should be more like uh, more uh, disciplined about it. But I, I, I really just do it for fun, and I don't try to over make video just to make video. I, I just want to show you what I acquire, what what I have. Um, and also it goes with work it goes with uh, the life in general so uh so yeah uh I, I if you like the video just uh subscribe like like it uh ask any any question you you have uh i'll try to do my best so thanks again for watching and see you on the next video that will be probably about the chavez redemption street so uh have a great day and uh enjoy your your uh enjoy enjoy your day actually and <laughs> just enjoy your day <laughs> all right bye guys